All right, what's going on guys? Today I've got the five best tweaks of September, the entire month. The first one here I've got for you is called File Mail. This one's number five on the list. And basically what File Mail allows you to do is just attach any kind of mail attachment to any document that you want to send in an email. All right, I'll go into my Tech Prodigy 7 email, send it off to myself because I have no friends. All right, so this is where the fun is right here. Uh, let's say I wanted to just send off an image, usually where you uh, just tap and hold to paste from the clipboard. You actually have this plus sign, so you just tap on that plus sign, and you have a whole options of things to send to people. So uh, let's just go into our media and go to DCIM, which is your camera application, where that storage is, and 100 Apple. So these are all of your videos and pictures that you can send to anyone. So I'm just gonna tap here and select a random image. So I just chose an image for like a wallpaper for the iPhone, and then you can just go ahead and send that. And so you have a couple options when you send. You can either send it as a small file, medium, or the actual size, which is a really large file. Uh, so whatever you choose, I'm just gonna send a small one. I don't wanna use too much of my Wi-Fi bandwidth. So at the bottom, you can just see it's sending, and as usual, it'll just send. It's really cool. Oh, there it is. I just received it. And there we go. So check this one out, really cool tweak, free from the Insanely iRepo, it's called File Mail. All right, so the next tweak I've got for you guys is called Flash Enhancer. And what this one will actually do is it'll use your LED flash. Let me just take it off my stand here for a sec. It'll use your LED flash to actually like blink when you get notifications. So for SMS, for mail, you can set this one and customize it however you want. So I just bounced over to my settings application and you can just scroll down your list of tweaks and applications till you get to Flash Enhancer. Go ahead and click that there. And as you can see here, I have it enabled, I have it on lock mode, so basically with lock mode it'll only flash when it's locked, but I'll show you how it looks, and that way I can take it off of uh, lock mode there. Bright time, you can actually set um, basically how long you want it to flash for, so uh, I have it set on 0.5 seconds right now. And then this is where you can customize all of the different notifications, and basically when you get a flash to notify you when something's happening. So push notifications, you can set on customize, and Basically, it's the same for everything here. So calls, for example, if you have an incoming call, you can change the interval. Right now it's on 0.6 seconds, so it'll flash every 0.6 seconds or it'll actually stay flashed for 0.5 seconds because uh, that's what I set up here. And then SMS, same thing. All right, so just for demonstration, I'm gonna just put a flash notification for my alarm. I've got it set to flash five times with a one second interval in between. So let's just go over to my clock. All right, so it's 8.44 right now. I will make this alarm for 8.45 p.m. And let's see if it works. All right, so here we go. And it is flashing. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so that's Flash Enhancer, guys. It's $3 from the Big Boss repo. Make sure to check that one out. Alright, so the next week is called Gesturizer. This one's $2.99 from the Big Boss repo. And this one's really cool. Let me just show you how to use it by going into the settings. Alright, so once you're in settings, you want to just scroll down your list of tweaks till you get to Gesturizer right here. Alright, so with Gesturizer, you can actually use gestures to switch between applications when you are in the multitasking mode like this. For example, if I wanted to, let's open this back up, if I wanted to go to Cydia, then I can change my glyph to open Cydia. I'm going to just change it to CY, and that way I can't forget it. And it'll just save that. Alright, so if I go back, then if I just double tap to get into my multitasking, I just go CY, and it pretty much uh, will recognize uh, almost to a T exactly what you're trying to put in. And then there you go, it'll uh, go ahead and load up Cydia. All right, so there's Cydia all loaded up. Uh, so this is a really cool tweak. I highly recommend this one. This one's $2.99 from the Big Boss repo. Gesturizer, check it out. All right, so coming in at number two, it's called KB Shortcuts, and this one's from the Big Boss repo for $2.50. And I'll show you what this guy's gonna do for you just by going into the notes application here. All right, so I just uh, made a little note here just to show you a sample of what this tweak will do. Basically, this completely revolutionizes the way that you're going to use your keyboard on your iPhone. Um, you can actually just drag, so let me just hold spacebar and then just drag to any icon. Uh, and then you've got a whole list of options uh, and different things that you can actually use. So you can, for example, insert mail, search, uh, you can do a whole bunch of things, copy, cut, paste, select, go to. You can actually define a word, you can insert your email, you can translate your words. So if it's like in another language, 
and you're not 100% familiar with it, you can translate and you can undo and redo. So let me just show you here. So let's say for example, I wanted to find a word in this uh, little note here and let's say I wanted to find that word everyone there and I had no idea where it was. You can just hold your space bar, drag to the F and just search for a word. So let's search for everyone and then click search and that just finds it and locates it right there for you everyone as you can see right there so it's really cool um, let's say that I wanted to get rid of that word I can just hold the space bar and go to the X and that cuts it uh, and because it cuts it it's still in your clipboard so you can go ahead and uh, hold the space bar go to the V and paste it back in so it's really cool super useful you're gonna be using this one every single day it's gonna totally change the way that you use your keyboard to type and make messages alright so check this one out guys it's called KB shortcuts from the big boss repo for two dollars and fifty cents and it is worth every single penny alright so the final tweak I've got for you guys today is called own tunes it's spelled P W N T U N E S this one's a whopping twelve ninety nine it comes from the big boss repo but there is a free trial right now so get it as quick as you can because I'm not sure how long the trial is gonna be on for and basically what this tweak will allow you to do is it'll actually allow you to plug your iPhone into your Windows based PC I'm not sure if it'll work for Mac right now but uh, you can always try it because um, it is a free trial you can connect it to your PC and actually through your file system you can actually drag and drop your music directly to your iPhone and it will actually sync to your iPod application so make sure to check this one out I will leave a link in the description below on how to set it up how to download it from Cydia and then how to get it connected to your computer so you can start transferring files directly into your iTunes library without iTunes. It is a really cool application. This one is $12.99 from the Big Boss repo, but again, get the free trial and just see if you like it. So this one is called Own Tunes from the Big Boss repo. Make sure to check it out. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, click that like button down below. And if you want some more videos like this, click that subscribe button above. And if there's any tweaks that you liked in September that I didn't get to review in this video, make sure to leave it in the comments because there's plenty of tweaks out there and I only got to review five. So just let us know and share with us all of your favorite tweaks of the month. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And make sure to check out the website, jailbreakcity.com. I'm trying to update it as fast as possible with a whole bunch of new articles on tweaks and themes, reviews, all that good stuff from Cydia. So... Thanks for watching again, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.